Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. I heard y'all was looking for me. Yeah, here we go, man. We but showed up, man. We apologize for this recap being late. What had happened was my husband is back in school, kind of, sort of. Mm -hmm. So, he was studying last night so that he can pass these finals so that he can start making more of that brat. Yeah, so right. that's why sometimes on Wednesday nights you might get them on Wednesday nights, you might get them on Thursdays, but you will get them, okay? Yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead and address the whole Justice Smollett thing because people been hitting us in the DMs was like, are y'all gonna address the Justice Smollett thing? Because I know y'all probably gonna come back and do Empire. Listen, I'm gonna treat this just like y'all treat the R. Kelly thing. We gonna separate the artist <laughs> from the person. Can we agree to do that? Because I don't want to see Jesse every time I see Jamal this entire season. Yeah. I see him, but we not going to... It might come up because I might feel yeah. shady sometimes. Because he might do something on a show that mimics what he did in real life. And, and then we, we going to talk, talk about, about it. <laughs> but but we're not going to use this as... Because we don't know the facts. We're going to damn. Yeah. So we're just going to focus on the show right now. Yeah. You know. So, coming off the leg of... Oh, my fault is past. Coming off the leg of... How we ended off. We still don't know who's in the casket. So don't forget we that We ain't gonna never find out who in the casket. At this point, I don't even care. Yeah, <laughs> it don't even matter. So we're at a point now where it's been revealed that Kingsley is Lucia's son. Now, I'm still confused on the fact that we're just taking people word of mouth now. We're not going to the DNA center. We're not going to DNA diagnostics, taking no test swab, no cheese, no nothing. We're just going to take the crackhead's word. When have we taken a crackhead's word for law? Man, you got to remember that they were just broke. They had the $500 to go down to the DNA center go, and get the test. Go on But board. now he got the money because he got the empire back. So maybe we can go get the Dana now. Go on more. He'll get you a flight. You Matter just got to make an A on yourself. He'll pay you for coming on the show. Yeah, you just got to make an A on yourself. Yep. Make yourself entertaining. Get the swab. Blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so now we have Cookie. She's like, you know what, Lucius? I don't care if he's your son or not. We're going to have to figure out a way to take this motherfucker down. Because what we're not going to do is come this far to lose everything that we had to you not being able to handle your mm 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 mm. Now, then we got Andre. Andre was like, hold on, wait a minute. I have prided myself on being the eldest son of Lucius Lyon. Uh -huh. No, no, no. We're not going to, we're not playing with my birth right here. It's just like the Bible would. I'm not going to, look, I will pull this in by his foot uh -huh. and pull him back in the womb if that means that he is coming after, uh, after my birthright. So Lucius was like, you know what? Whatever I need to do, we going to make it happen. So everybody comes up with their own individual ways that once they take Kingsley down, this is how we going to move going forward, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we know how Kingsley move. Kingsley don't already don't put it on out there that remember the the breach of um the data breach yeah. where everybody's information got leaked out and all that good stuff. Well, he's figured out a way to make this look like Lucius and Becky did it. Yeah. And now the people are coming after them for what is it, a hundred million dollar lawsuit. lawsuit. Uh-huh. And Lucius was like, you know what? This can't happen because this is going this is going to end me. <laughs> <laughs> and Becky is a good person. Uh -huh. Now he you notice he never said that he was a good person. Nah, he said Becky, y'all. <laughs> Becky is a good person and she don't deserve this. So he tells Jamal, say, listen, you need to get Kai on the case. You need to find out a way to get Kai to get his people and get some of the people that he know to get me in with some people that's going to be able to, so we can prove that it isn't us and that it is actually Kingsley did all this. So Jamal won't feel none of that. Nah, he said, you know what? So we already on Rocky Grounds. Then you want me to go and use him up some out? Yeah. First of all, I ain't want my <laughs> my soon to be husband in the bullshit with y'all in the in first, first place. place. Exactly. So he did y'all a solid this one up. Take that and run with it. Lucius was like, you know what? We gonna need Kyle. I mean, point blank to the period. We gonna need Kyle. So over there, we see Jamal and Becky over there, cause they they are in a mood. You hear me? Becky was a whole. Mood. She was just zoned out, just. Just hating life. Out a hundred million dollars? <laughs> yeah. Some of us can't even count a hundred million dollars. 
How many zeros is that? More than I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> so Becca is over there, she, you know, she's got a flash of what her future could possibly look like. She said, you know what, at this rate, I'm going to have to go work at the beauty supply store. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to have to go back to wear synthetic hair. Do you know, you can't go from Remy back to synthetic hair. We're I not going to do it. I said, girl, she said, I, th th and then Jamal over there, he in a whole mood. And then he decides, you know, let me go ahead and play this beat for you, Becky. You know, that'll bring you up. And it had like a, kind of like a drum line kind of beat or yeah. whatever. It was tight. It was real tight. So Becca was like, maybe you right. Yeah. Maybe you right. It's uh, something about music, though. When you ain't feeling right, you don't feel like going to work, you tired, you stressed out, you depressed, you put on some good music, man. It's some kind of way it's bring you right on around. It really does. Yeah, dude, man. It works. So, Becky says, you know what? I got something for you. Since this ain't really perking your spirit up because Jamal had let her know that, you know, this track isn't even for me. It's for, I think it said it was Devon. Devon. Mm -hmm. She was like, no, 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 no. This, this is you. This is you written out. I said, yeah, you don't sound like Billy Go Gruff. Go with it, Jamal. <laughs> so she ended up having some, and I don't know if it was Jamal's old school or old arts and cultural center where he went and did. I, I didn't. Like it was when he was little at school because it didn't seem like a college or anything. No, it was more like a center for a uh, artsy type of yeah. center. Extra, extra curricular activity. <laughs> Very extra. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if he went there or not, but he had an opportunity to perform his song, the bands behind him. It was excellent. So that perked his spirits up a little bit. All right, let's switch on over to Kai. Now, Kai decides to join forces with Lulu and Andre. Reluctantly. Because what Kai found out was that there was a guy that he either used to work for Lucius or he used to intern for Lucius. It was last night. Don't remember. Um, I'm 40. Don't, it don't even matter. It don't no. even matter. It don't even matter. So, found out he worked for him. All of a sudden, he was a nobody. And then overnight, he... Is like Got the new names. Wikipedia. Yeah, WikiLeaks. Yeah, he's like the new WikiLeaks. So we know that some. All right, Lucius and Andre decided to pay old boy a visit. And when I saw that window, I said, "This not gonna end well for not, homeboy." If he, so don't, if he don't give up the information and be honest and upfront, you just might not make it out that room well. You got the the two of the craziest lions. In your, in your, and then brain. the one that's already on medication is even more crazier because he don't been to prison, and he ready to do something. He re he ready to pop off at any second right now. So they asked, you. <laughs> they asked the guy, and I mean he was he was I can give it to him. He was holding his own. He was like, um, well, Kyle you know, was. Kyle you know, was being real nice, being professional. Yeah, you know, talk to him real uh -huh. nice. You know, mm -hmm. and Lucian was sitting back. They said, listen to me, uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is it my turn? Is it my turn? You done, guy? <laughs> it's my turn now. <laughs> Let me talk to this nice man. Shook that sucker down. Next day, we know Andre had him hanging out the window. I said, I said, when Lucius put the window, I said, Pimp, you, you didn't see Run. my heartbeats? <laughs> my office house or what? Yeah, you see how they hung him out the window because he come in there talking skit? Well, Andre said, oh, Pops, I think I'm losing my grip. I think I'm losing my grip. Hope I said, oh, 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 I tell you everything. I tell, I tell you everything. Kaiser did all of this. He set up these, he, he made these fake emails up. He did all of this. He he did a favor for me to got, got my name out there and put it all on your ass. head. Skip to do it with Kingsley. Lucia said, like, thank you. So uh -huh. kindly. <laughs> and Kai said that he devastated. He Kai like, said, he like, what the hell did I get myself into? So here go Kai. I'm going to move forward a little bit because I'm going to get him out the way because he gone, y'all. Yeah, he gone. Kai goes back to Jamal was like, you know what? When we were in London together, you were so happy. <laughs> there is a side of you and your family that I have seen. I have been around some skits. Some crazy people. I don't been out there and I don't been ambushed. And I ain't never been scared. He, said he was getting ready to say, I've been out there with Osama Bin Laden. They ain't got skit on these lions. I'm scared. I'm scared of y'all. He said, if you don't, you need to choose. He had nerve to say, you know what, because you ain't nothing like them. I was like, you must but don't know scared. Jamal. But who's scared? He got a body on his belt. <laughs> huh? 
ask, ask his mama where her ex at. Exactly. <laughs> him gone. Because that lion took care of him. Yep. So you don't know. <laughs> you ain't that nigga he said. Yeah. <laughs> so Jamal told him straight up, look, Kai, anybody that, basically he said, I love you. But at the end of the day, anybody that I join myself to be with is going to have to accept both sides of me. Jamal and the lions. Mm-hmm. I can't separate the two of that. Basically, at any given moment, you don't know no, which you, one you're going to get. get. And when yep. it come down to business, you're going to see a side of my family <laughs> that you saw earlier in that room. Yep. And it only gets worse from here. Kai said in, on that no, note, I'm, I'm gone. gone. <laughs> my flight leaves in a couple of hours. I wish you were on there with me, but you're not. <laughs> I said, but see, but see, we got we got I'm gonna use a big word. We got a dichotomy here. Okay. See, Kai wanted Jamal to accept his lifestyle, him going all the time, him going overseas, putting himself in danger, doing all that. But matter of fact, we didn't even know what Kai was at. We thought we thought that they kidnapped Kai. What well, they did kidnap Kai. Yeah, they kidnapped. Yeah, you going through all that so you want him to accept who you are, but you don't want to accept who he is. Hypocritical bullshit. Very hypocritical. That's how we do, man. Yeah. So this episode, <clears throat> Cookie is doing a lot of reflecting because, uh -huh. well, before we even get to that, I felt some kind of way about this. Let me know if y'all felt some kind of way about this and maybe I'm reaching. But Carol, no, Candace. Candace, yes. Yeah, Candace. Candace bring her tail over that Juanita still ain't wearing no uniforms. You know they ain't paying Juanita right. <laughs> she don't even uh, care. Until they pay her right, she's not putting that uniform back on. No. So Juanita comes and was like, Miss Cookie, you have a visitor. It's Candace. Candace come over there and Cookie was like, oh, hell to the no. Get out. Get out. Get We're out. not on good terms right now and I'm not feeling at my best. <laughs> Get out of my house. See, this one I feel some kind of way. Candace don't heard about the bullshit that's going on. She don't heard about the child that's out there with the crackhead. Now she gonna come to her sister talking about some. I heard what's going on with your life. Your life is a little messed up too. We need to come on over here. And, and we need to we need a sisterhood. Why? Because her life is bucked up like yours bucked up now. Now you want to come over there and make a man's world. Hmm. Why something bad had to happen to her that well, you come to make it right. That that almost makes with your skit is going on make your skit don't look like it's as good as um bad as it is. I felt some kind of way about it. But they made up and it's cool. It's cool if she's cool with she it. She should have get a, a, call, a phone call first, man. You just don't just pop up like that. That's what country people do. They do do that. I know some of y'all here from the country. Y'all do that. Y'all don't call nobody. You just, you just pop up at their house and ring their doorbell. Man, no, you know, man, most country people don't got a doorbell. You knock on their door, hit that little thing. It'll scream, though. Yeah. Don't even be don't even be paying big people in the house running around naked and you just show up. I don't answer the door. As a matter of fact, when you call me on the phone, I answer the phone so that you can hear me through the door. <laughs> you ain't tell me you were coming. Yep. Shoot. You don't know what I'm doing. Like Mike here. B said, that's disrespectful. Yeah. So the sisters are all talking. And Candace told her, she said, you know what, Lucia? I mean, Dad going, you know what, Cookie? You need to go and get white Trace's side of the story because come to find out the other sister carl was like oh, i, I know already, white I Trace. Know her. yeah we used to get high together so, <laughs> like, so everybody in the hood know about white tracing except for me she was like well i ain't know white Trace was sleeping with lucius i mean she was getting yeah. high i was getting high i didn't care who she was sleeping with <laughs> so that's what cookie ended up doing she went to the hospital to speak to white Tracy. <laughs> and they said they called the white tracer because they ain't want black tracer to get offended. <laughs> so, white tracer, I said, what's up with these white people? I mean, just this disrespectful on this episode. <laughs> so she just went at Cookie talking about something. Mm. So basically, so what uh, you want? You got the good life. You got the good life when Cookie met Lucius. And, nah, nah, nah. and then my life went to hell. And, this, and Cookie gave it right back to her. Listen. I'm not the one that put the crack pipe up to your mouth and made you smoke it and, and pretty much blow you, <coughs> blow you got doing life away. I ain't do none of that. Nah. So then she was like, do you want to know what had happened? Cookie was like, that's why I'm here. What had happened? She was like, well, I got pregnant with him before, before you and Lucius. So really, 
That's all I'm Cookie wanted to hear. She was like, all right, deuces, I'm, I'm out. And she said, oh, oh so you're going to leave now, yeah. now. Now that you don't got the information to make you feel a little better about your little situation. Yeah. But uh, both of us lost. And I was like, you know what? Y'all darn sure did, man. Tracy? I yeah. Mean, sh yeah. She lost because she had to raise, uh, uh, I'm ready to say Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> Kingsley by herself. And then freaking um, Cookie did a dime and, and a seven in the prison. So, and she said, so it looks like we both lost in the drugs. I said, oh, I'm scared. When you think about it like I that. I said, man. God, no, you did. So after that encounter with White Tracy, Cookie was oh. not right the entire She got episode. delivered, man. Yeah. She, she got set free, I yeah. guess. And she started reminiscing about when they first met and mm -hmm. all that. And basically, like, what had my life become? Like, every, mm. like, Lucius really did shape her entire life. Yeah. And, and thinking about all the violence and all the people that have got hurt in the process of them gaining that empire. So basically. That's sad. Our world is like that though. Yeah, the empire is built on drugs. Mm -hmm. It's all for drug money and drugs. Drugs and violence, man. I said what Some God. people had to die in order for the empire to live. Yep. So now that Lucius has the information from old boy <clears throat> they hung out the window. Okay, now it's time to go over there and shake Kingsley down. Like, listen, Kingsley. I know what you did. I know how you think this is going to go down. You got two choices here. Sign this document that will basically give a press release. It has you admitting to everything, clearing me and Becca's name. You can go ahead and do what you need to do and just go away from me with this. Yep, sky free. Or you can get a switch and take this public A whooping that I'm about to give you. That right? I'm about to give you old father style. With, take your, pick your poison. I thought Kingsley was going to take the A whipping for 200 Alex, but he was, he, he signed a paper. Uh-huh. But you know, you, you know, he had to say something smart. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, and Lucius really just had a, a moment with him. He was like, what do you want from me? I didn't know you existed. And that's really where I'm with, at with Kingsley too. This man didn't know that you, you existed. existed. Mm -hmm. So I get it. But now that you know that he don't know, that he didn't know. What's you gonna do about that information now? I mean, he can't fix what he didn't know. But it goes back to where his mama was feeding him while he was coming up. Cause that's usually the dynamic right there. The mama start feeding the kids that, oh, your father ain't skit. He, he never gonna you. be skit. He ain't never helped us out. We struggling. He over there living in over there in the mansion with our uh, cookie deal. He on TV. He got apples. He got millions of dollars and we let him struggling. And you can't even. But she never told son. him that he, she he never come and you. tell him that he existed. So right now he done been programmed. Mm. To believe that Lucius is just bad. I mean, he is a bad guy. But we can't yes, call him is. but we can't call him a deadbeat father at this point because he didn't know. Yeah. So he signed the papers and he looked Lucius in his eye and he was like, hm, I took the one thing that you love mm -hmm. and I played with and I it. I played with it. And still made it better than you. And I made it better <laughs> than how you, you had ever did it. <laughs> Ball the paper up and threw it on the floor. I said you a wreck this motherfucker. <laughs> you. But you I right like how he did it. You were right though. <laughs> it walked out his face. And I said, do you really think that Kingsley is going away that easy? No. Nah. No, that sucker ain't going away that easy. But can you imagine though, if that relationship, we don't like Kingsley, but I'm just, I'm just thinking hypothetical right now. If they was to get on good terms, now Andre ain't going to like it. Cause that empire belongs to him. Andre said, my birthright? Yeah. So, if Kingsley and, and, and them get right, can you imagine what they could do with Empire with his technical skills and Lucius' musical skills? Yeah. But you got to kill that animosity first. And Andre's freaking business skills? Yeah. That play, that juggle would skyrocket, man. It really but like I said, Andre ain't going to let that happen. Nah, Andre <laughs> will kill that sucker first. And he ain't taking this medicine right now, neither. How you know he ain't taking this medicine? <laughs> Did you see him at that table when they were doing the plane? He, Andre said, when Andre he lip curl up like that, uh -huh. he ain't taking no medicine. <laughs> when that lip curl up, you like, oh hell, here he go. <laughs> so, uh, 
Okay, so now it's, it's time to come back to the Empire. You know, they always have this nice little chant they do whenever Lucius comes back to take the throne to the Empire, to the Empire, gave his nice little speech. Cookie interrupted him and was like, because uh, she having a moment. Like, mm -hmm. she just got delivered. Yeah. And she gave her testimony. <laughs> and she took the mic and she was like, you know what? We do this all the time. We say this all the time. But we need to do something different. The Empire really isn't anything without you. You are the Empire. Now it's time True. for it's time for Empire to give back. And Lucius got scared. Was like, what in the hell is she getting ready to say? Is she about ready to get a company to all y'all employees? And <laughs> um, to the Empire. To the Empire. It's time to party. It's time to party. So that pissed Cookie all the way off, and she went on back in the back somewhere. Um, and they ended up trying to talk. Of course, um, Hakeem. You know, he had to have his performance. And I actually enjoyed his performance. Him yeah. and, what's her name? Maya. Maya, yeah. They gonna be together in a few seconds. Because, you know, he, he, is always he bumps happy. everything that's moving. And, I even or or, or it. everything that challenged who he is and, and bucks with his ego. Right. He end up bucking them. Yep. Yeah. Tiana already see it, too. Yep. Because she took her phone out to his tummy. So, I need to show Bella her dad. And she loves to see her dad. And she Until saw that chemistry between her and him. And put the phone right on back down. I said, yeah, so... They're going to be baby mama number three in a few minutes. Yeah. So, Cookie and Lucius are in the back and they're trying to talk. And he was like, Cookie, what is going on with you? What? Cookie was like, I, I talked to White Tracy. And he was He's like, like what you do, do that for? What? Why you do that? And she was like, I got the answer I need. Da, 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 da. And then Kingsley called. So, basically, Cookie got put on hold again. Kingsley called. I said, who the hell let him in the empire? Yeah, it seems like he just can walk on him unless he still got an access badge. <laughs> I thought I seen him leave out there when he threatened when he threatened Jamal and um and Andre. Andre said, Oh yeah, it was definitely a, a, a threat. threat. <laughs> <laughs> so he's he's talking to um Lucius again, telling Lucius, say, you know what, this, that, and the third. And he says, um, he's asking him questions about how do you download your music? And what uh, frame rates for and, frame rate and all yeah. of this that you hurt. And he said, so I said, do it in 32, babe. He said, yeah, I do it in 32. It's because the master has to be better than the copies. And um, Kinsler said, mm-hmm. He said, what if I told you that this little software that I created right here is going, is erasing oh, all your masters. of your masters right now? Well, Lucius didn't flinch. No, nah, he didn't flinch, yeah. I thought it was a joke, too, because, I mean, it's going on in the phone, but you don't see nothing on those screens. Right yeah, because he looking at the screens, it's like, <laughs> my it's, skit it's is right there. right there. And then Kingsley said, you know, Lucius, you know, he's doing his motivational speaking. That he's doing reverse psychology on Kingsley at this point. Trying to, anyway. It actually worked in the end. Just a little bit. And he's telling him, you know, listen, son, I accept you as my son. You are my blood. This, that, and the third. You know, basically, we need to squash all of this. So, let's try to create something new. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Kingsley said, you don't think that I didn't know about a copy of your master's being somewhere. I think he said Canada somewhere or Russia London. or somewhere. You ain't think I knew about that? They are being erased right now, now. too. And then Lucius looks at the computer and his skit is going. Yeah, doop, yeah, doop, delete. Doop, yeah. doop, Oh, it's your, what do you want from me? I said, okay. <laughs> All right, Tyree. Well, what more do you want from me? <laughs> Eventually, Lucius got in Kingsley's head. And Kingsley went ahead and pushed the X on the um on the program and stopped the download. I said, well, what happened to the files you already raised? Where they yes. at? Mm -hmm. <laughs> can, you re can we do a factory reset? <laughs> can we do a restore of my files, please? <laughs> And he went on about his business. I said, this this ain't over. Nah, it ain't over. So, Andre had bought... Tracy? No. What's the girl's name? Uh, the, what it's is Tracy, she? ain't it? Tracy. The boy she got out of jail. Mama. Terry. Terry, yeah. One of them teens had bought Terry to the Empire to meet Cookie and all of mm. that. And Cookie seemed to take a little liking to her. But Cookie ain't all the way here. So, she, yeah. you know. So, Andre is driving Tracy back home. And they're talking, talking, talking. And she was like, you know, now that I've met your people, why is it that when I invite you to church to meet my people, <laughs> you reluctant to do it? Andre said, 
-hmm. said, my relationship with God right now is a little complicated. I said, yeah, please don't go down that road. Please don't go. The last no. time Andre went to church, uh, he was down in Jennifer Hudson's lap. Yeah. <laughs> I said, when they start doing this at church, what kind of therapy is this? <laughs> so, you know, he's having his moment. I said, what? Well, why he gotta come to church to meet your family? Y'all don't eat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> y'all don't have nothing else in the house. So all of a sudden she said, Andre, your nose is bleeding. And he said, Oh, oh, oh that's it, okay. it ain't nothing. It. And then all of a sudden he he I said, Oh, oh what the hell's going, going on with Andre? What's going on with my Andre? Y'all know I can't live without my Andre on the show. <laughs> Andre gone. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And he just passes out behind the wheel. And I said, Lord, don't let no car come and T-bone him. And yeah. this is why we're going to see him stretched out, you know, later on at the hospital code and all or of this. Or maybe he in the casket. So, I don't think it's going to be him. I nah, still don't. I still it's that's yeah. too easy. Yeah, it is too easy. So, we don't know what's going to happen. See, I can see Kingsley being more in the casket than him. Yeah. So, back at the house, you still have Lucius and Cookie. And they're still talking and going, you know, basically down memory lane. And... She ain't feeling none of this. She's like, our karma, a karma has come back in the form of a guy named Kingsley. Yup. And this is what Empire was built on. All this violence and hurt. And we need to change. We need to do something different. Yeah, we done hurt all these people to get here. I said, uh, so what that gonna be, Miss Cookie? Because yeah. I need to hear what this is gonna be. And that's basically kind of how it just ended. Like, we really didn't get a whole lot but Man, not in the first episode. i'm glad that now we do have the empire back because the struggle of not having the empire which the show was built off of was kind of like whatever why yeah so we first had to go through lucius and all his colors and then we had to go through them getting, <laughs> the, getting the empire back so where do we go from here what do you got for us uh uh what's your name so i do see that they, they are setting it up so that cookie and lucius are kind of at a at a, a mental divide with each other. But we don't been here with them before. But this is where that they're going to do with the painting going to come into play. Yeah. Uh, what the name is? Uh, Cross. Cross. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anybody with the last name Cross from these shows. Yeah, y'all remember Coochie Cross. Cross. They come to, they come to buck some skit up. Huh. So we'll see y'all on next week straight from the VA. The Dirty, Dirty South. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.